Here's the Sterling engine modified. Um, I had a few issues last time with the power piston. I had used a case hardened steel shaft for the piston and a Teflon sleeve bearing. And uh, with the, such a high RPM that it was running, it was uh, starting to wear and actually uh, the piston was digging into the Teflon and actually stopping the engine. So now I made a brass sleeve. I highly polished it and then a graphite piston which should both materials being uh, naturally lubricating should uh, work fairly well and hold up. I also redid the linkage going to the flywheel for the power piston. I opted for a uh, piece of aluminum with a bearing on each side a little more stable than a single bearing which was what was on the last power piston. Um, the displacer side is still the single bearing. Uh, this side not as critical because there's no power being put to the flywheel from the displacer. It's just moving it back and forth so that linkage stayed the same. So I will get her going here. Um, I also set up a few mirrors so you can actually see the tack uh, without me uh, taking the camera off the motor. So we'll see how she goes here. Also going to use a cooler, which was on the last video. Um, this time I actually put it in the fridge and froze it solid. So it should work pretty good. So we'll put that on here. Let her uh, cool down for a second, and then we'll start her up. See the counter reads zero right now. So a little warm up here and start the flywheel off. See she's already at uh, almost 450, actually going past 500 right now. Seven hundred. Eight hundred. There is a decimal point in there, so it's not eight thousand. Breaking nine hundred. Breaking a thousand, still slowly increasing. Breaking eleven hundred, she might break twelve hundred. Still increasing just a little bit. Once it breaks a thousand RPM, there is no more decimal point, obviously. Uh, 1195, still much improved over the uh, 900. Oh, she broke 1200. Slowly increasing. Now she's increasing a little bit more, 1220s.
There you go, Sterling Engine Mark II.